Hi, today I want to play with the ESP32 AT command line firmware. So let's start by visiting the GitHub website for the ESP32 AT commands and we want to clone this repository. So we just copy the URL link, open a new terminal and just go where you want to extract the repository. I want to do this in the ESP folder. So I change to the ESP folder and then I type git clone and the URL. And now we have cloned our repository and we change to this folder, so to ESP32 minus AT. And then I just type make menu config, just to see the configuration. So first I change the serial flasher, but that is not necessary. I just want to flash. 10 times faster than normal. So that's one. Now let's see the component configuration and first have a look at the ESP specific. But this is just a look. We don't change anything. Next thing we can see what's the free RTOS operation system is configured. And we see the tick rate is 1000 Hertz. Normally you see here 100 Hertz. So just a nice feature. And now look at the AT command configuration. And the important points are the UART pins that's used. So if we want, don't want to change it, we have to connect our UART converter to this pins. So pin 16 and 17 we have to use. And optionally, if we use hardware control, we have also used 14 and 15. And if we want to do a over the air update, we can also see this this configuration, but I don't change anything. So just exit and I only save the configuration for the flasher. So that's all. Then I type make minus J and I use eight parallel commands for building our firmware. And if your CPU is not capable for eight or capable for more, just tape another configuration. So let's build our firmware with make it take a few seconds to build this. But be aware there's some issues with the newest ISP IDF. So look at the current state of the development. So let's look at the issues. There's some guru meditation error with the newest IoT development framework. So you have today use a special version for the IDF. So now let's flash our firmware with make flash. And as mentioned, we use a fast UART configuration baud rate and not the standard baud rate. So now prepare our console for the AT command command line. So I type make monitor. But first I show you I use two UART bridges and I type in LS USB. And as you can see here, I use one UART bridge and also have another UART bridge. And we can see this also in, in our dev folder and we type in TTY USB. And I can see I have USB zero for the flashing and USB one for the connection to the AT command command line. So let's start by make monitor. And first of all, we see this, we can show the help commands and we use control T and control H. And the first important thing to change the port. So I want to change to TTY USB one. So I type in control T and followed by P. And now I use three for TTY USB one. So now I'm switched to the AT command controller. Then I want to also show the debug output on TTY USB zero. So let's open a second window and change to the folder we have created ESP32 minus AT and also type make 
monitor. This time we use the default connection, so that's DY USB zero. And now let's press the reset button on our ESP32 and see what's happened. On this window, we see the debug output and this is our AT command console. And now I open the manual for the AT command reference, the instruction set and just go through some examples. So we scroll down a little bit and just start with our first command. I just type in AT and we get an OK prompt. So we are ready with our AT command prompt line. So maybe we try the next command, restart our module AT plus RST, see what's happened. And our ESP32 is resetted. So next command, we can show some version information AT plus GMR and we see the version information that all that we need. So next we can try the deep sleep mode AT plus GSLP followed by equal sign and then the amount of milliseconds. Maybe we try 1000 milliseconds. So go to deep sleep and after one second we are wake up. So maybe we try five seconds, AT plus GSLP equals 5000 and see one, two, three, four, five. And now we wake up. So nice that we can skip all the UART configuration we already have done. So next command, yes. We are interested in the Wi-Fi settings. So first let's set our ESP to stationary mode and connect to an access point. So we use AT plus CW mode equals one. So next connect to an access point. So type in AT plus CVJAP equals then our SSID followed by just the password. Okay. So in my example, I use my example access point. So what's next? Now we go to the IP related AT commands. Maybe we want to show the status. So AT plus CIP status and we are on status two. That means we are connected to an access point and we have our IP address. So next let's establish a TCP connection. Let's start by connecting maybe to Google. So we type AT plus CIP start followed by the type TCP and then the remote server or IP address and also the port. So in this case, www.google.com and then port 80, just the normal HTTP port. And now we can use the 80 plus CIP send command and we just first establish the connection with the lengths. So first of all, we have to know the lengths of our command. So I prepared some commands. So let's start with this, the length of 74. And I just copy the HTTP request get command. And we get the HTTP response from the Google server. So and then the connection is closed. So let's try another server and also send an HTTP request. This time the server respond and says that you should use the HTTPS connection. So let's try this. Also prepared some examples. So that takes a while. Now we use the SSL connection and the same server just with the port 443. So the connection is established. Now let's please send our command. And there's our website with HTTPS. So it's a very big website. The most time is consumed by the UART output. So and last but not least, I used the 
ESP32 forum website, also Google connection. So wait for the connection. We are established. Now send. But oh, I'm, I'm too slow. I have to restart the whole process. So I have to restart everything. So let's do a connection again. Then our send command and then our HTTPS get. Now we get our website. So that's fine. That's all for today. So I hope you learned something and enjoy the video. Some additional information can be found in the description of the video down below. Have a nice day and bye bye.